Want to improve your mesh Wi-Fi network by adding a node? They don't tell you this, but Steve Dog does. And this is important. It can only mean one thing. I couldn't have said it better myself. Welcome back. Now this actually is a pretty clever video of mine and it's all about positioning of your nodes for your Deco E4, E3, M4, M5, whatever mesh Wi-Fi system you've got. If you, in particular, add a new node to your system because you want to extend the Wi-Fi or increase the signal in a certain area of your house. So let's have a look at this. Let's explain this theory to you, which the TP-Link guys don't explain themselves. So I'm gonna keep this simple. Imagine we've got our primary unit, our primary node, our main deco unit in Newcastle. So you switch it on and it sends a signal all the way up to our other node in Aberdeen. However, the signal in Aberdeen is getting quite weak. It's still connecting, but it's not perfect. So we decide to add another node in Glasgow, a brand new node to our mesh Wi-Fi system. Our Glasgow node now looks for a signal, but the closest node to it is Aberdeen. So it links into there. I wanted to improve my signal at Aberdeen by using Glasgow as a stepping stone, but instead all I've done is now sent a signal from Aberdeen to Glasgow. So how do I get around this? But what I do is quite straightforward. I switch off Aberdeen. This forces the Glasgow node to connect with Newcastle. So now it receive a signal from Newcastle and then from here, when I switch my Aberdeen node back on, it will automatically connect to the strongest signal, which will be Glasgow. So, with all of this folks, you can set up your mesh Wi-Fi systems and add new nodes, but have a think of which order you switch those nodes on to establish the right flow of connection and get the highest bar indicator from connection to connection. And you can suss out the strength of those connections by clicking on the little world arrow on your TP-Link app and then from there, it will show you a little indicator showing where the um, node is getting its signal from and that strength of connection. So folks, perseverance is definitely the key when it comes to adding nodes to your mesh Wi-Fi system. So catch you guys next time on the next mesh Wi-Fi schmi-fi flip side. <laughs>